Hi everyone, it's Captain Rugwash here from Plymouth Rug Cleaning. Um, I've just finishing, finished cleaning this gorgeous hand knotted rug. Um, there is before and after photos which I'll show you guys later, but the colours are really popped out, the reds and the ivories and the blues. We've got some wear along here because this is quite an old rug, so it has got its patches of wear and tear. But I just wanted to um, show this video because I've saved the dirty water and the dirt the dry soil that I've actually got out of the rug just to um, show you a demonstration I mean this rug is just over two foot by four foot thick so it's not um, so it's not a massive rug um, as you can see there a bit of damage on the fringe due to probably poor vacuuming and but I just want to show you the dirt so now I'll show you the dry soil that I've got out now this is the pile of dry soil as you can see it's um it's massive and there's all sorts in there and this has all come out of my rug badger so all this all this dry soil would be deep down inside the pile so and the pile is now a lot more fluffier um, a lot nicer to touch the softness has come back and as you can see it's the lust has come back it's almost almost shiny as opposed to when it was full of dirt it was dull and flat and scratchy and this is the water that I've got out on our wash pit floor so I took it onto our, our sloped wash pit floor and just gave it a good scrub um, with our brushes and um, just flushed out with gallons and gallons of water so as you can see that's the so that's the colour of the water so um, you know it's a deep clean when you get it cleaned by and myself at Plymouth Rug Cleaning we're not just cleaning the surface um, you know, we're cleaning the, you know, the back, deep in the pile, we're doing the fringes, we're doing the surface, we're making sure these colours don't bleed, because the reds were bleeding and the blues bled a little bit, so um, I stopped with the bleeding and flushed it out, so there's no damage to the ivory colours, no blue or red has bled into those, those there, for example, where I've worked a lot of cheap cleaning machines and cheap cleaning products, um, they're just going to cause no end of damage and colour bleed and colour loss and um, but this is the safest way to do it we flushed it out using um, cold water our brushes we've cleaned it with our cleaning solution and that is the dirt that's come out after we've got all that now if you don't like I said in another video if you don't remove all this damage and dry soil from the rug when you add all the water to it to clean it it's just going to turn to mud and that's when you start damaging rugs um, so as you can see, there's no there's no shrinkage, there's no curling, there's no you know, dye bleed, there's no damage. Although there's damage to the fringe, the owner knows that because um, years and years of going over the fringe of a vacuum cleaner. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you this video um, on how rugs should be cleaned properly, getting out all the dirt from proper flushing and rinsing of rugs and all the damage and dry soil that um, the everyday vacuum is not going to get out. Um, so I've been Captain Rugwash from Plymouth Rug Cleaning. Please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, for more videos on how we clean rugs properly. Um, you can find me on all the social media media channels. Just search Captain Rugwash. Thanks for watching this video. And if you've got any questions or comments, please write in the box below. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.